Hello and welcome, my name is Daily Fix and this is my Stellaris Guide and we're playing through the entire game and I'm going to be explaining all of the things that I'm going to be doing to you in more detail. Now we're playing as of course as the Commonwealth of Men, this scientist is not doing anything. So what he's going to be doing, he is going to help researching everything because that is quite important that he does. And at some point, we're going to be sending him into um, this territory or he's going to be doing the archaeological sites, which is part of a, um, a story event DLC, so uh, story pack DLC, storyline, uh, one of those things. It is a story, you don't have it in the base game and you'll probably don't have it if you just have the uh, main three DLCs. Now, we have a tradition here. And we're going to go for the Starbase upkeep, reduced by 20%. And that will definitely reduce the stations here. Starbase is 18 with 20%. So uh, we'll gain a tiny bit more on terms of energy. But it also unlocks our very first ascension. So let's go over D. So this ascension perk will allow you to raid. And by raiding it means that you're going to be stealing away... Uh, population and it will be placed on your planets now this is nice if you want to be playing it like this but this is not my cup of tea because these guys are not going to be happy they're going to be slaves they're going to be purged doing this with a hive mind it's not working uh, because the hive mind needs hive minds and they will die Interstellar Dominion, so Starbase influence costs are going to be negative 20 and claiming costs negative 20. So this would be very well for our uh, empire because we already have a negative somewhat in uh, claiming influence as well as Starbases. But this is more a warring thing. Technology Ascension, so here we go. We got a plus 10% in research speed. Rare technologies will now appear at 1.5 times the normal rate. Uh, so you'll get faster into uh, research, but the rare research jobs are going to be more frequent. Now rare research jobs are more expensive to research, so this will uh, definitely help. And they can be very good, but the, the rare research jobs can be very um, well useless as well. Uh, one vision is unity unity plus 10 percent population enmity plus uh, negative 10 percent so your population will consume less enmities which is a very very nice thing and government ethic attraction so if you're getting population that is from a different species or you're conquered of another planet those species will change to your government ethics over time and this will just make sure it happens faster now masters of nature Tile blocker costs uh, cost you negative uh, 33%, so it's cheaper to do that. But you can also increase your planet by more districts, as you can see there. This is a decision that permanent, permanently increases the maximum number of districts a planet can support by two. So you get two more um, districts on your planet. So in theory, this is... Um, Let's say this is a plus 10, a, pl a 10 tile planet, and it will now be 12. So it's actually quite, quite strong. It used to be only tile blockers, and then it changed to increasing the planet by 3, and now it's just increasing the uh, planet by 2. Uh, Imperial pre -gorative. Yeah, that's a nice word, isn't it? So administrative capacity plus 30. As you, like we said, we are going to be over it. Now, I don't like to be over my Empire Sprawl too soon because it will harm our research. We are not at a point where we can say we generate more than enough research to offset our Empire Sprawl. So we want to keep that as a mi to a minimum. So maybe we'll stop, maybe we won't, uh, but eventually we'll, we'll, we will get this Ascension perk. Now we have the exclusive Vigor, Edict Duration. Now we haven't talked much about Edicts, but this, uh, normally an Edict will, will be like 10 years. So every 10 years you need to renew your Edict. And this will make it so it will be 15 years. So every 15 years. It's quite strong, it will definitely save you a lot of influence. 
Uh, Transcend Learning, Leader Cap, plus two, like I said, it used to be five. They bumped it up to, I believe, like ten or so. And uh, we're already on plus one. Uh, so that's six, and this will bump it up to eight. Quite strong. Leader Experience Gain, plus fifty. So if you see your leaders dying at level four... This will make sure that you probably see them dying at level 6 or maybe even level 7. So gaining more experience for your leaders will also make them stronger. An admiral with like a level 10, that's he has so much more to do with your military power. Because it is linked, your leaders are important. Uh, shared a destiny, subject integration influence cost negative 50. So you have a subject. So you've won a war, you've subjugated this, uh, this uh, other empire, or you were overwhelming to him and he wanted to be your subject or whatever. It will cost you influence to get him into your empire. So the borders will disappear. It's like EU4, where you integrate a vessel. And this will just cost it less. Your subject tr trust cap will be increased by a hundred. So... Um, if you're already kept at 100 and you're just lacking, that lacking those, those, those plus 30. Uh, you don't have to do trade deals. Your trust cap is going to be increased by, uh, by 100. So overall, you'll gain more uh, opinion. Now, for now, um, we're definitely going to go with the research plus 10. Because that is quite strong. And this will bring some of these up. Look at this. 50 one 51 guys that is so strong so strong because we have a plus 25 in research agreement so this is a technology that our alien counterparts over here already have and that will boost us up significantly look because look at these they don't have the research deal but they have the plus 10 that we just gained from the ascension perk strong ascension perk definitely Definitely go for that. This Ascension perk will help you definitely to the end of the game. Okay, let's unpause. Let's unpause and let's continue. Um, so the colony has been done. Uh, that's great. Who are you? This is the Ark ship. Here we go. An Ark ship. Um, and it will say a United Nations uh, Ulysses Initiative. Officer Log, Captain Ronald F something uh there's a corruption that's been detected now you can go over these and they will tell you what um they were going through uh, and what probably just killed them i'm gonna let you butcher me like a uh, so i'm thinking they were overtaken so by signing out nothing actually changed we got a bit of a uh, a research plus but this event has Offset. It didn't do anything for the system. There is not an additional world. I don't believe there is more that we can do. This is so expensive. Look at that. 66 months. That is so strong. And I don't want to right now. Because it would uh, neglect this growth speed. For 66 months. That, that, that's 4 years or so. That's more than 4 years. It's like 5 or 6 years. That is so long. Now, this science shit is not doing anything. So, we're going to be sending you over here. Research the anomalies. Is there more? Not at this point. Um, we get pros free in uh, one of our systems over here. Wow, look at this. Six physics, three engineering, and we got um, some strategic resource. Um, edicts. Yes, here we go. Your edicts. There are several of them. There are some amazing ones. Farming subsidies, food plus 20, mapping the stars will make your survey f uh, speed go even faster. But the ones that we are most likely interested in... Construction. Oh, that is not good. There's definitely someone over here. We're already boxed in. Uh, is um, energy capacity uh, as well as one. So one is going to be for energy, one is going to be for minerals. Those two you probably are going to be doing for the rest of your campaign. Healthcare campaign, population growth speed, and this is just energy. We can already do these. Consumer goods, um, experience gain, 
monthly unity as well. Ooh, all of these are so nice. We are probably going to be saving up energy and we'll be running them. Um, in terms of the rest, they all have a, um, a cooldown period. They will be running for 11 years and 6 months. And with the Ascension perk that does uh, 50%. And they will be running 50%. So that would be well, almost 5 years more. 5 or 6. Maybe 6 years. Almost 6 years. So it will just cost you less. You are not doing anything. huh? Hmm. I'm thinking it's going to be time to send someone into this territory. Now we know there is someone. Let's take a quick look. What is it that we see? Who are you? So definitely an alien vessel. And he is surveying this system. Which we already got. You are going to be building. So we are already... There is an enemy over here. There is an alien empire over there. If he is an enemy or not. We, we can't be certain. Because we haven't met him yet. So... Let's see, this, this won't, won't be finished, um, most likely. So, there's only one way out of this situation, and that is true domination. We need to be preparing for war. And we need to do it quite, quite nicely. So, what can we do? Now we have a construction ship not doing anything. Uh, we want to get those minerals. So let's go. And we want to make sure that we increase our naval cap. And eventually we want to get an Admiral to boost. Oh, we have a terraforming candidate discovered. Great. But we don't have the uh, climate restoration yet. I don't think so. No, we don't. Otherwise, we would have uh, colonized this uh, planet over here. Plus 17. Very nice. I'm hoping this will go up to 5. I want to have a Starbase over here. But we definitely we want to be going all in with our alloys. Because uh, we are starting to lag. And I don't like falling behind too much. So let's focus on increasing our fleet. And by doing so we will be increasing these stations as well. They're still overwhelming. And our friend, our neighbor is on plus 9. How much acceptance for a commercial pack? 32. So it's going to be some time. Uh, favorable trade deal is going to be running out. Hopefully, by the time, our trust is going to be high enough so he will sustain our trade deal. Otherwise, we'll have to go back, we'll have to do a trade deal, we have to do the research thing again. There's just so much going on. If we had a, uh, a another uh, alien race... Let's examine the logs. We could choose to start working these guys. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that figures. So, we have Spiritualist. Uh, with, they gain monthly influence, plus 20. And either cost, negative 10. They have closed their borders. That's great. They're militarists. So are we. Uh, let's do the military answer. This is all going to be... Ex uh, yeah, that's great. Construction complete. Let's take a quick look. So, they are superior. They are on negative 40. Now, once the new contact has been done, they are on negative 20. But they are also at war with another species. Is that war in their favor? Yes or no? Well, the real war just started. So, maybe we want to make sure that we uh, get to know these guys. Some more in the near future, but I don't want to start doing more alloy trading. Because I want to get more alloy buildings. Uh, the more alloy we get, the more ships we can buy, the more modules we can build. All of that good stuff. You, go here. Um, let that aliens lie dead. Also, we need to do those research jobs as well. Of actually that station. You are building. That's great. Meaning our scientists will have almost no place to go. Unless we can get these guys to open their borders. Which is probably not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, but the looks of it, they only have one planet. And their Gaia world. 
So they could be running an empire where they uh, can only have Gaia world. So they are a one... How do you call it again? Uh, what's the name? A one planet challenge. Uh, well, can't help you there at the moment. So they will... That, that weakens them quite a bit. So let's go over here. Ooh, that's a desert world. Will that do anything for us? Let's go to our species. Deserts are going to be plus 20. Yeah, that's not going to do anything for us. It's a bit of a shame. We got two systems to explore. And then uh, we're going to be assisting the research on most of our planets. Now, you are not doing anything. That's great. So let's get your colony up so you get more growth speed. What are we lacking most? Energy. Let's build energy. Hopefully soon we'll get a, another slot open. As you can see it's, already, it's on 7. We need 10. 30. We need 35. Uh, and this will generate us more uh, unity over time. Which is a good thing. Definitely, we are now in the uh, in the range that we need to make sure that our fleet is going to be taking top priority over anything else. So let's start boosting the fleet. Let's see what can we sell that would, would generate us a lot of money. Uh, we're making up consumer goods. They sell at 1.4, 0.6, 70. 14. That is strong. Let's uh, sell all of it because we're not using it. Then buy more alloys. Um, Grand Marshal has leveled up. And let's boost our naval cap some more. While we're doing that, let's make sure. We're, we're just, there's not much to do. You are not doing anything. Why is that? Uh, let's go here, research this project. We're going to be using one to go for the other archaeological sites as soon as he is bored. This guy is now not doing anything, which is a good thing. I want you to go over here. And we're going to be researching this site. And uh, we'll see. Once he's uh, doing that, I'll, uh, I'll read whatever it, has, uh, it, it says. Surveying has been done. We can't do anything. It's plus 30 because we have... A plus 10 inhabitability. If it was 40, we could have colonized it. Uh, we got 20% in colonization. Now, we can go for uh, the hull points, which is a flat bonus to your ships. It will immediately boost these guys up. Or we go for afterburners. Now, let's take a quick look at our ships before we make a decision. Can we do anything with our power? We're on plus 4. We can't even get the new deflectors. So, we need energy. Are we researching those energies? No, we don't. Is it necessary to go for the afterburns then? I would say not. Let's go for the flat hull point bonus. Until we get better, um, better power supply for our ships. Hopefully the power supply is going to be in here quite soon. Can we change this leader? Do we have a leader that would be better? Let's go. Let's go over there. Let's go for leaders. Let's take a quick look. Hmm. Because we want to make sure we have some of these uh, guys starting to level up. Ideologist is uh, is going to be quite nice for a while. But this guy, yeah, he's, he's, he, he gains more experience. So he will level up faster than anyone else. But he's not adding any bonus. Unfortunately, can't say I'm too excited about what I'm seeing here. I was hoping for some other thing. We could get this um, research guy. But let's just wait until someone dies. Now, we're not going to be using him uh, as a main resource, uh, researcher. Because negative uh, 5. He's paranoid. We don't want that. How about governors? Is there someone we can take? Planetary building speed plus... 10% district cost and building cost. Yeah, those are not as powerful as you might think. Tile blocker. Yeah, that, that could be very nice. But it is just energy. Speaking of energy. Let's go to edicts. What do we want? Well, I actually would like to see. If there is a way for us for population growth. And here we go. 
plus 10% population growth for 11 years at the cost as a thousand. And this will boost our population speed up. Wow, that this is low. That's not good. And it's all due to immigration to new planets. So the plus 10 is going to be quite strong. Let's research you. We'll get a new population over there. We got the plus 10 on the, uh, the, the research job. Hmm. Ah, do we have soldier jobs at the moment? No, we have enforcer jobs, but not soldier jobs. So that's not going to work for us at the moment. Let's go and take this tile blocker. Because we need to unblock these anyways. We might as well go for the, uh, the tile blockers. Let's see. Uh, very well, there is something we can do for you. Um, okay. I don't remember pressing these guys. I wish to become your patron. And that will cost us energy. Ooh. Yeah, we need more energy. And we're going to get all of these deals. Because that's going to be quite strong. It will help us a lot. Definitely help us a lot. So, you're going to be done quite soon. You are building up. 8.16. Overall, look at this. These guys are no longer overwhelming. They're now superior. So, over time, you will get this uh, done. 11. Great. Still 32. We'll see how it will go. Uh, I wonder who they are going to be warring first. Us. Oh, I would attack me. But they've rivaled their neighbors. So, this might... Hmm, that might be great. Try to find military use. I wonder what they will do. It, it's going to be whatever it is they are going to be deciding. We could take this system, but I don't really feel that we need to. Uh, we want to go into this direction of, as well. There is a bit of research here. We got a research ship over here, so if we can get you to build over there, that's great. Construction so during the next Special few years, project. you are. Let's do this event. We might get a ship from it. Uh, it's marvelous. Uh, over the next few years, you're just going to be boosting your fleet for as much as possible. Let's take a quick look at it. We got inflect uh, inflectors, but we can't do it. There you go. Fusion reactor. Let's take it because we need those for our ships. As you can see, even though we got a new technology, we can't equip it because of the um, amount of energy. Uh, power usage is 20 and this one is 15. That will bring it up to negative 1. So we need those f uh, new reactors in order to gain those shields. So that's going to be step one, getting better power. As for now, I think this is as good a time as any to uh, stop the recording. Thank you all for watching, I do hope you enjoyed. Um, leave a like if you did, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time, have a good one. Bye bye.